grand old partisan, celebrates more than 17 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor George Washington Carver, born on a Missouri slave plantation during the Civil War. He attended elementary school in Kansas and secondary school in Minnesota. Artistic appreciation for plants led him to study botany at Iowa State University. His best friend there was a professor and former Republican congressman who would later popularize his scientific advances while serving as Secretary of Agriculture for three Republican presidents. Carver wrote a thesis on human modification of plants. He remained at Iowa State for a master's degree, then joined the faculty. His research on plant diseases earned him nationwide respect. In 1897, Republican civil rights activist Booker T. Washington hired Carver to head the agricultural department at Tuskegee Institute. Over 47 years, the, quote, Black Leonardo made countless beneficial discoveries. Especially noteworthy were industrial uses for the peanut. He advocated crop rotation with sweet potatoes and legumes to restore soil depleted by cotton production. Another of his initiatives was educating about proper nutrition. Theodore Roosevelt was among his many admirers. Philanthropists donated for an elevator so the elderly scientist would not have to climb stairs. Carver died while still active, January 5, 1943. His gravestone notes that, quote, he found happiness and honor in being helpful to the world. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandolpartisan.com.